Hello, listeners, and welcome to the second program in our series, Entrepreneurship Education. This program is produced for grade 10 and 11 learners and anybody with an interest in the... Take two. Yo. <laughs> okay. This program is produced for grade 10 and 11 learners and anybody with an interest in entrepreneurship. My name is Leontina Chibasu. Today we are going to learn about the techniques that enhances creativity. Please have your pen and notebook ready to make important notes. At the end of this program, you should be able to identify and explain techniques to enhance creativity, random input, problem reversal, association technique, discontinuate what? Read, read this for me. <laughs> uh, discontinuity. Yeah. Discontinu. Uh, discontinuity. 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 Wait, what's five W? H. Should I say five W H technique? You know, it's the five the five W H like what, where, who, mm, okay. like that. Discontinuity, discontinuity. Okay. Take two. Discontinuity technique, the five W H technique. First. Mm. Mm. Tangi, have you ever tried using a toothpick? Yes. Why? Oh, I just wanted to know, where do you guys buy your toothpicks? Oh, my mom buys them at Chinatown. They are cheaper there because they are the ones producing them and sell to Namibian entrepreneurships for resale. Ah, okay. Good morning, class. Good morning, Good morning. miss. Just Grace join and Tangi, why are you looking through the window? Take two. Take two. Oh, I should wait. join in. Yeah, you should just join in. You should look okay. like a distracted class. You know how you usually sound like okay. 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 Cool. Start Take again. two. Mm-hmm. Good morning, class. Good, Good morning, morning, miss. Grace and Tangi, why are you looking through the window? Ah, uh, we are looking at nature, miss. Grace told me that she wants to start producing toothpicks using sticks so that we can stop importing toothpicks. That's a good idea, Grace. But what makes you think of producing toothpicks? Miss, why not? If we have the material... Oh, take two. Miss, why not? If we have the materials. I'm tired of importing everything, even things we can make. We have the resources. I can just ask my father to use his knife so that I can sharpen the sticks nicely. A knife? <laughs> Will you even finish a hundred toothpicks in a day? I like the way you think. Then it makes this class there as a... Take two. Hmm? I like the way you think. Then it means in this class, there are creative people that we need in this country. This brings us to today's topic, where we are going to talk about techniques that enhance creativity. Mm, well, can creativity be enhanced? Is that not an inborn thing? Definitely. Creativity can be enhanced because a person can have the talent, skills, can have the material, but just do not know what type of products to create or design. Take two. Definitely. Creativity can be enhanced because a person can have the talent, skills, can have the material, but just do not know what type of products to create or the design until she saw or hears something similar. So... It means when you see or hear something, it'll influence your mind to do something creative? 
Exactly, Tangi. There are techniques that enhance a person's creativity and they're very interesting. Let's talk about them one by one. Let's first identify them, shall we? <laughs> they are random input, problem reversal, association technique, discontinuity principle, and five WH techniques. They are all influential, a person's idea to come up with something new and original. Yeah, they are all influential. Take two. Exactly. They are techniques that enhance a person's creativity. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, okay, sir. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, thank you, sir. Okay. Take two. Take two. They are all influencing a person's idea to come up with something new and original. Ooh. Oh, I can't wait to hear what random input is. Me too, me too. I wonder how random input leads to creativity. <laughs> it can. It can. With random input, you just pick up something at random. Let me demonstrate it. Close. Take two. <laughs> Sorry, oh my gosh. Take two. Mm -hmm. It can, it can. With random input, you just pick up something at random. Let me demonstrate it. Let me close my eyes. Whatever I lay my hands on, it will give me an idea of what to produce. You see, I picked up a paper at random. Now, let's develop words that results to the word paper. Mm, mm, paper plate, color paper, paper clip, paper holder, paper bag. Now, Miss, what can we do with all these words? Let's repeat the process. Pick the word that you like among the five words listed. I like color paper. I like paper holder. Okay, okay, good. Okay, good, good. Then I want you to think what you can create in the line with the word you have picked. Here. You need to think outside the box. Oh, well, miss, I can create different color paper flowers of different designs and sell it to teachers and my friends. I will make red flowers for Valentine's Day. That is a wonderful idea, Grace. <laughs> you see? Random input has just enhanced your creativity. Tangi, how about you? Me? Well, I'll create different holders made out of paper. Money holders, letter holders, gift holders, chalk holders, pen holders, and print different pictures and sell them to teachers, students in the entire community. <laughs> Wonderful! I can't wait to see your products. Please, when you're done, I'd want to be the first buyer. Sun. Okay, he's gonna put it there. Miss, how about problem reversal? How can it reverse? Take two. And Miss, how about problem reversal? How can it enhance creativity? Hmm. This one works where there's a challenge. Step one. You state the challenge. Step two. You need to state the problem. Problem reversal, it forces one to see things backwards. Inside and out. 
upside and down, thereby enabling one to analyze the whole concept or a problem. Well, Miss, can take two? Well, Miss, give us an example of a problem reversal. Okay, Grace, let's do an example. The challenge is how to make learners pass English as a subject. Can we identify problem? Oh, 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 I know. The problem is the learners are failing English. Yes, very good, Tangi. When learners are failing, that is a problem that we have to address and find a solution to it. Now, we need to assume what we have caused the learners. Take two. Now, we need to assume what have caused the learners failure. Well, learners do not do their homework every day. Well, I think it's because the learners don't have enough learning materials for English. Okay, okay. That is what we call assumptions. Now we need to reverse. Remember, it is problem reversal. Everybody, reverse yourselves. Uh, learners do their homework every day. Um, learners have enough learning materials for English. Yes, 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 yes. Exactly. Now we have to revise. Take two. Yes, exactly. Now we have reversed what we think causes the problem. Now we need to suggest solutions to the problem at hand. Teachers should notify parents every day when a learner fails to complete their homework and get punished. The school should probably order enough learning materials for English and even try and buy from local bookshops. Very well done, Tangi and Grace. You have reversed them well. Uh, but Miss, how will that enhance creativity when learners are failing? It does. Because it forces you to think of ways to ensure that learners are passing. Example, by offering extra classes in English for money, to open up a homework center, come up with English study guides, and sell them to learners and schools. Make online activities for sale and an ETC. So, you have to think of possible solutions to minimize failure and that leads you to creative ideas. I see the point now. Meaning I can also reverse how can Namibia import less toothpicks as a challenge. The problem here is Namibia imports more toothpicks. After that I can come up with assumptions of what causes Namibia to import toothpicks and reverse them for me to think of solutions or ways on what we can be done for Namibia to start producing toothpicks. Hmm. Wow, I like the way Tangi is thinking today. I think you're right. He is right. And that is all about problem reversal. <laughs> Say she, <laughs> because oh, now it's a she. she. Oh, mm. <laughs> take two. <laughs> she is right, and that is all about problem reversal. Very easy and simple. I wonder how association technique works. Okay, let me explain it to you. Association technique stimulates creative thinking processes through the usage of. Linkage, take two. Association technique stimulates creative thinking processes through the usage of linkages or associations among unrelated or related concepts, ideas, 
or objects. For example, if you see that people are using more of smartphones than another person thought of producing cell phone holders and screen protectors, there's a link between cell phone and a cell phone holder. Does that mean if I look at one product, it will provoke another thought of producing something similar or something that can be paired with it in consumption. Correct. Like now that schools are using e-learning, most people thought of selling more of the smartphones, producing online programs, more tablets, and more online platforms for the online meeting. I see. Now I understand. Like we have learned in economics class that some products complement each other in consumption like sugar and tea, toothpaste and toothbrush, while there are also products that substitute each other in consumption, for example, butter and margarine, tea and coffee, and etc. Yes. Yes. Take two. Yes. So if I see many people buying cars, I can produce more tires or come up with a business that do car service. We are finished. Oh. <laughs> we are finished. Learners! The way I'm learning from you today. Yeah. Yeah. Don't make the sounds while she's talking. Take two. Oh. While she's what? Talking. When she's reading. We have to oh. page together, yeah. Moss. And oh, then the we same have thing. to. Yeah. So I shouldn't make the sound. Mm -hmm. Alright, sorry. Take two. Learners. The way I'm learning from you today. You guys are so smart. Uh, miss, you said there's another technique called discontinuity technique. How does that work? Well, this technique requires one to change his or her routine. For example, if one to change the radio station, take two. This technique requires one to change his or her routine. For example, for one to change the radio station you listen to every day or change the route you take to school. When you change a radio station with a new one, you may hear new things and new ideas that in the end you give an idea to be creative or when you change your route to school, on your way, you may be exposed to new pictures, new information. They can create a new way of thinking until you get an idea to come up with a solution or product. Yes, like my mom changed her menu from pasta and meat menu to a veggies menu. And after three months, she got an idea of coming up with a garden, which she later extended. Now she harvests more vegetables like spinach, tomatoes, green pepper, carrots, and butternuts. And you know what? She's now selling vegetables in our community. So it works the same way? Oh, oh, my cousin who used to watch NBC, now he watches more of African movies. Just yesterday he was telling me that he wants to be a movie star. Grace, are you tired? We're almost there. There's only one last technique. The 5WH technique. This technique is referred to as a questioning technique. It implies asking the following questions. What to product? Why should it be produced? 
take two. It implies asking the following questions. What to produce? What should it be produced? Who to produce it? Why should it be produced? No. You do? We're almost done. That's why I'm done. so uncomfortable. We're almost done. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You can take two. Mm -hmm. Take two. Mm. Grace, are you tired? We're almost there. There's only one last technique. 5WH technique. This technique is referred to as a questioning technique. It implies asking the following questions. What to produce? Why should it be produced? Who? to produce it, when to produce it, and where to produce it, and how to produce it. Um, Miss, who should answer all these questions? Everyone who wants to come up with new and original ideas should answer them. For all the ideas that run into your mind, one should ask him or herself the above questions. The moment you did not find an answer to at least one question, then you need to think of another idea. So, it means that people who created toothpicks succeeded... Uh, uh, take two. So, then it means the piece... <laughs> Take two. <laughs> so, it means the person who created toothpicks succeeded in answering all the five WH questions. Not only toothpicks, but it applies to all the products, uh, I guess. Yes, for all the products. One needs to ask him or herself these questions. If you get all the answers, then you can go ahead with the idea. Wow! Today I really learned a lot. <laughs> you think so? Let's do the recap. There are five techniques that one can use to enhance his or hers creativity. Random input is a technique that stimulates creative thinking processes through the development of words, pictures, and images. Problem reversal, a technique to stimulate creative thinking processes by forcing one to think backwards, inside out, and upside down, thereby by enabling one to analyze the whole concept or problem. Association technique is a technique to stimulate creative thinking processes through the usage of linking or associations among unrelated concepts, ideas, or object. Discontinuity technique Take two. Discontinuity technique. This is a technique used to stimulate creative thinking processes by forcing one to think outside the box in unconventional ways. Lastly, the 5WH technique. This is a questioning technique whereby the what, who, where, when, why, and how questions can be applied to every idea that runs into your mind. Ah, uh, well captured, Miss. Hope we're going to write the test soon. I'm really excited about this topic. <laughs> we have come to the end of today's program. Your question for the... Uh, take two. We have come to the end of today's program. Your question for today is, 
You randomly pick the word water from the magazine. Apply the random input technique procedures to enhance your creativity. Until next time, do take care.